Good morning, it's Ruth with Makeup This Monday and I'm here to bring you your next Makeup List Monday moment. So before we get started, I just want to read to you a meme I found on Facebook um, earlier this week that I hey. thought would go really well with our topic today. And real quick, my daughter is awake and so if you see her pop in and out or making any noise in the background, please be patient. Um, she has special needs and we are going to be getting ready to go to therapy in a few minutes. So anyway, real quick, this meme says, I am still learning how to go back and reread my own chapters without feeling like I want to set all of my pages on fire. And this is by E.V. Regina, R-O-G-I-N-A. <laughs> so this speaks to me in a lot of different ways because she is dealing directly with um, shame and vulnerability. So I'm not going to go into a lot of details about my past. I have blogged extensively about that and I will leave a link probably either up here or down below in the comments where you can go and read my story. But just a real quick snapshot, um, my past was riddled in years of extreme child abuse. As a result of that, um, I developed severe mental and emotional issues which has resulted in three suicide attempts since the age of 16, and um, four separate hospitalizations to help me stabilize mentally and emotionally. During one of my attempts, I even carved the words, I hate me, all the way down from elbow to wrist. Um, you can actually still see the words uh, in person on my arm because of how much I really, really, really hated myself. So when I'm sitting here and I'm talking about the person who was versus the um, woman who sits before you talking about Makeup with Money today, I've realized that I often speak very disparagingly of myself um, in my past moments. For example, I'll tell people, oh my God, I was such a hot mess. You wouldn't believe how unhealthy I was in my past. And then in the conversation, I will move to talking about my current accomplishments as though that is somehow the proof that I have finally got it right. Which, if I'm really being honest with myself, hi baby girl, that's Olivia, I am telling hmm. myself and others that I love myself because I have finally worked hard enough to accomplish everything that I need to to make myself worthy of love, and that's why you should love me too. Ooh, let's not get it wrong, okay? I was a hot mess. I still am a hot mess, and I have been a very, very unhealthy person in my past. I have traveled a crumbling life path that, you know, was partly a result of my undealt with severe emotional and mental um, problems that would cause me to act out in other ways. As a matter of fact, until last year, there has not been a single day since I was 11 that at some point during the day I haven't verbalized, oh my God, I hate myself. I should just go kill myself anytime I experience a memory that leaves me feeling vulnerable about who I am or anything that I've done that may not be considered my greatest, proudest moments. So somewhere along this uh, journey that I've been making, I've got to hit my camera or it will Ooh. shut off on me. Um, somewhere along this journey of self-love and discovery, I have completely kind of just lost my way a little bit. I've had to come to the realization that I might only really be loving myself because I see myself as someone who's worked hard and attained the worthiness of love. And it shows in the self-loathing every time I speak about my lesser version or my past self. So lately I've been digging through all of those memories again that make me just want to crawl away in my own skin. I have been working on taking off the mask of believing and convincing myself that I finally have my shit together and I'm going back through and, and I'm looking at those uncomfortable moments and memories where I have deemed myself as less than and I'm working on learning to love myself through them. 
it is uncomfortable uh, to look at yourself in this way and deem your lesser self to be just as worthy of love as the person who stands in the mirror before you right now. This is why I've made vulnerability a deliberately chosen lifestyle practice for myself. And I don't practice vulnerability as moments where I've just accidentally let it slip and let my lesser self be known. Or I put on the mask that says, look at me, I finally have it together. So today, it's Makeupless Monday. My vulnerability moment comes in saying I don't have it all together. My vulnerability moment is saying that who I am today does not make me any more worthy of giving or receiving love than my most dirty, shameful, ugly memories of myself that I want to run away from. If you are experiencing the same and that makes you uncomfortable, I'm going to tell you that's actually a really good thing. And I would actually encourage you to sit in that discomfort for a little while, press into it. Um, practicing vulnerability is learning to be comfortable with the uncomfortable. It's learning to love yourself through those lesser moments of shame and fear of vulnerability, where we know we don't have it all together. So that's my warning bell. It is time to go. I've got to get going for the day. That is your Makeupless Monday moment. If you have one you'd like to share with me, please leave it in the comments below. Send me a video. Email me at makeuplessmonday at gmail.com. And in the meantime, subscribe, link, all that fun stuff you always hear. I'll leave it all in the description box down below. In the meantime, it's Makeupless Monday. Go forth, be makeupless, be vulnerable, be brave, love yourself, and I will see you back next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.